Hello and welcome, it's Bill Sklodowski and it's time for What's New Wednesday with uh, information to help make your high-tech life easier. Tips, tricks, and techniques to make your iPhone and iPad uh, that much more fun to use and that much more helpful. There you go. I'm going to be uh, keeping it short tonight with a couple of tricks that I've found recently. And then on Friday, with iPhone Friday, big news, uh, did hear back from some of our regular viewers who really liked my idea, and so we're going to do it, of basically giving you the online class that I teach to paying customers <laughs> here in Sarasota, Florida, where I teach adult education programs and classes in technology at the local uh, school. So anyway, that's going to start on Friday, and I'm not too sure how that's going to work yet because normally I do it in classes that are two hours long and no we're not going to do a two hour video no 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 uh, nobody's nobody's got the attention span for that so we will be breaking it down a little bit and then having handouts kind of as the class goes but if you keep them and put them all together you'll basically have the handout that I give out as my class curriculum for the adult ed class so there you go awesome but tonight how to uh, manage all those notifications you're getting from various programs and apps. And one very cool new trick that I just found out about and I want to share with you. So let's, let's dig into that, shall we? So um, first of all, let's uh, head over to the phone. And if you have done like I have, now of course this is the home screen of my phone which has just, uh, you know, one, two, three, a dozen apps on it, plus the four across the bottom. I don't know, for some reason, I just like things to be a little more neat and clean without a full big screen full of apps on the home screen. I just like that. That's just me. You do what you want. But on the inside screens, as I swipe, you know, from across the screen, then I get to some, like my second page has some apps, singular apps, like, you know, YouTube there and photos and things like that. But as you can see up across the top, it has groups of apps or what they call in the iPhone world folders full of apps as well. And here's the thing I was thinking about and some new trick that I discovered for us tonight. And that is when you go to a group of apps and one of the apps inside is notifying you of something going on. So as you can see under that app there, or excuse me, under that folder that says storage, there's a big button on the top that says 35. That means that at least one of the apps in there is giving me notifications of some kind, all right? And normally what you might have to do is you would tap on the folder. So I'm going to tap on that one. And then, oh, look, it shows the uh, iDrive little backup thing there is got 35 different things to remind me of. I'm sure they're all super important. Not really. But here's the here's the problem that you might run into, and here's the solution. So very often, if you are on a folder that has, for example, oh, I don't know, a lot of apps in it, it's possible to have, like under my finance folder here, there's actually two pages of apps within this one folder, right? So you could have a folder that, just like the home screen of the iPhone, has multiple pages full of apps. Like if you had, oh, I used to have a folder like of restaurants and fast food places. Back when you used to go to restaurants, remember that? That, you know, I could look up menus and things like that. And I had like three pages of different apps all within one folder. And if one of them sent me a notification, well, what happens is exactly what you see there on the uh, storage folder, that there's a, there's a, 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 they call it a badge, right? There's a badge on it that says, hey, you got 35 notifications, and now I have to dig into that folder and dig through the pages and find out which app is trying to notify me and open it up and then take care of it if I choose to do that, all right? So here's the answer to that, and that is this. If all you do is give that folder a long press, it will show you the app that's trying to notify you of something. Yeah, I know. Really cool. So again, and if you, by the way, if you don't know what long press is, go back a few videos and you'll see that we did a whole video on long press. On basically all it means is this. You lay your finger on something and wait for a few seconds. 
and then something happens. And if it's on an individual app, like say the camera, and I lay on my finger on it, it gives me a menu of things that I can do with it. But, and this is the big important change, if I lay my finger on a folder that has an app that's trying to notify me of something, lay my finger on it, it shows me the app that's trying to get my attention with the notifications, and then all I have to do is tap on that app, right there where it says iDrive Online, tap, it opens it up, and then I can see the notifications or whatever. Well, okay, I don't want it to start a backup of our phone here. But anyway, long story short, if you have folders of apps and one of them is trying to get your attention, hey, look at me, hey, look at me, the easy way to find out which one it is, no matter if you have two, three, four pages full of apps inside that folder, you can lay your finger on it and it will open up and show you the one app that's trying to get your attention. And then you can open it up just by tapping on that one and it will take you to that particular app. Not bad, right? Not bad at all. Okay, so now one other thing with notifications, and I just, I think we may have touched on this before, but while we're talking notifications, if you want to turn those off completely, all of that stuff is in settings. And I know we've talked about this before, but let me just update you on this if that's something that's new to you or you missed out on the previous video. If you go into settings, our favorite, right? There's, trust me, when we do the iPhone class, there's gonna be a whole, just a bunch of settings stuff. But anyway, go to settings, tap on settings, okay? Make sure you're on the home page there and there's my picture again. <sighs> it's getting to be a joke, isn't it? The phone is playing with us. So. Scroll down just a little bit to the red notifications right there and tap on notifications, okay? And then here are all the apps under notifications, all the apps that you have on your phone that can send you notifications of things. Something goes on. You missed an email. You missed a text. You missed a phone call. Somebody's trying to reach you on Facebook. Some, just any app that can send you a notification is going to be listed here, right? And as you look at them, some of them are going to say, like, for example, my friends at Little Caesars Pizza there, one of the few restaurants I still do a restaurant. It's not a restaurant. It's a takeout place, right? Little Caesars Pizza there, you can see that it has the ability to create banners and sounds and badges and all sorts of things like that within the app. And if I tap on any app, all right, it will show me that I can either allow or not allow notifications. And if I turn it off, just by that very top switch where it says allow notifications, tap on it, turn it off, everything else disappears. And when I go back, you'll see that now Little Caesars says off. And that means it's never gonna bother me, okay? So me, I wanna know when my pizza's ready, so I'm gonna leave that turned on. Now there are some other settings down below, we'll save those for another day. But basically, you can go to the settings app, and you can scroll through all the notifications, go to settings, go to notifications, scroll through all the different apps on your phone. And believe me, if you're like me, you're going to have a long, long list. Okay. And then you can see which ones you want to receive notifications from and which ones you don't. And if like I get down to, oh, I don't know. Uh, well, the phone, I definitely want the phone to notify me when I've missed a phone call. Right. But maybe I have, I don't know. Maybe I've got something else turned on here, like my to-do list. See that? Oh, let me bring that up. That to-do list there. I've got banners, sounds, and badges. Well, I've probably got three different to-do lists on my phone between reminders and... Well, never mind. But again, if I'm getting all kinds of reminders from this and it's like, I never use that app anymore. Stop notifying me of things. Just open it up and turn it off. And you're done. And it'll never bother you again. I'm going to leave that on just to make sure. But now you understand how notifications work, okay? So keep that in mind. Let's go back to the home page. In fact, let's get back to the home screen there. So keep in mind that uh, if you want to uh, change notifications, the way to do it in settings and notifications, find the app that's sending you the notifications and then just turn it off, toggle it off, okay? There you go. And then the other one was if there are apps that you do want notifications from, 
but they're buried inside of a folder full of all kinds of apps of one kind or another. All you got to do is long press, lay your finger on it, wait. By the time you get to three, something will happen. One, two, three. Oh, pops up a menu. And then you can tap on that one and open up the app directly to show you which app is trying to get your attention. There you go. All right, that's going to do it for tonight. Uh, short, sweet, and to the point. And I think I like that a little bit better. Let me invite you, if you haven't already done so, to jump on over to the website, to BillSkladowski.com, where you can, here, let me put that right up for you, at BillSkladowski.com right there, where you can join our uh, little email list, uh, just literally one email a week. I send you a couple of more when you join up, you know, so if you join on a Monday or Tuesday or something, it's like, hey, I got your email, you're good to go, and then I remind you. And then just one a week on the weekend where we give you the link to the Wednesday video and to the Friday video. So if you've missed either one, you can go back and check them out. And if there was a handout, as there always is, either for Wednesday or for Friday, sometimes both, if there's a printable handout, I send that to you as well and you get it absolutely positively for free. So again, just jump on over to BillSklodowski.com and uh, you can get in on that. That's going to do it for tonight. Short, sweet, and to the point. My favorite. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you are watching this live, feel free to uh, give it some love on Facebook. If you're watching it on uh, YouTube or the blog at BillSklodowski.com, any of those, you can drop your uh, questions or comments right below. I read and respond to all of them as I get them. And if you have a question that, you know, I think other people might be uh, interested in, drop that as well. We've already had a couple of uh, episodes of What's New Wednesday where people have actually suggested, hey, how do you do this? And uh, happy to help with that sort of thing. All right, it's going to do it for tonight. Again, feel free to stop by. Oh, if you haven't yet and you're on Facebook, uh, you know, stop by the, the page, Bill Sklodowski's page for, you know, iPhone, whatever it is. I'll, I'll have to bring that up. I'll have to get another screenshot of that one somewhere, too, so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, give that a like, please, or give it a follow as well. And also, if you want to, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, and then you'll never miss a video. So many things to do. I know. Just, just pick one. <laughs> That'll be great. Have yourself a great couple of days. We'll see you Friday for iPhone Friday. Take care.